Welcome to You Curious, your ultimate hangout for mini science documentaries. A new era in astronomy starts in July. Ever since December 2021, we have been patiently waiting for the JWST to start operations in full capacity. NASA had told us time after time that the Webb telescope will be fully functional in summer of 2022. It brings us great joy to tell you that you can finally save the date. The first full-color photos and spectroscopic data from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, a collaboration with the European Space Agency and the Canadian Space Agency, will be released on July 12, 2022. Webb has been going through a six-month phase of preparation before it can begin science work. It is calibrating its sensors to its space environment and aligning its mirrors and living up to its name as the largest and most sophisticated observatory ever launched into orbit. Years of new technology development and mission planning have culminated in the first photographs and data. A display of Webb at full capacity, ready to begin its science mission and reveal the infrared cosmos, is muchly awaited. We are on the verge of an extremely exciting moment of discovery about our universe as we near the end of preparing the observatory for science. Webb's first full-color photographs will provide a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for us all to pause and wonder at a vision that humanity has never seen before. The first photos and spectroscopic observations will be taken after each of Webb's instruments have been calibrated, tested, and given the green light by its science and engineering teams. To put Webb's powerful capabilities to the test, the team will go through a list of targets that have been pre-selected and prioritized by an international committee. The production crew will then receive data from Webb's instrument scientists and transform it into photographs for astronomers and the general public. So, what can we expect to see? While thorough planning for Webb's initial full-color photographs has been ongoing for some time, the new telescope's capability makes it difficult to forecast how the first images will look. Of course, there are things we're hoping to see, but with a new telescope and this new high-resolution infrared data, we won't know until we see it. Early alignment images have already proven Webb's infrared view's unrivaled sharpness. These new photographs, on the other hand, will be the first to be in full color and to show off Webb's full scientific capabilities. Webb will capture spectroscopic data, which is comprehensive information that astronomers can read in light, in addition to pictures, the early cosmos, the evolution of galaxies through time, the lifetime of stars, and other worlds, are among the science themes that inspired the project and will be the focus of its work. Webb's commissioning data, which includes measurements acquired while aligning the telescope and configuring the equipment, will be made public as well. You must be wondering. What's next for Webb? In simple words, science. Webb's scientific observations will continue when it captures its initial photographs, continuing to examine the mission's main science themes. Teams have already filed for time to utilize the telescope in what astronomers refer to as its first cycle, or first year of observations. The official start of Webb's general science operations, the task it was built to undertake, is marked by these observations. Webb will be used by astronomers to observe the infrared universe, evaluate the data, and publish scientific publications based on their findings. Aside from what is already planned for Webb, astronomers cannot predict the unexpected findings. For example, dark energy was completely unknown before the Hubble Space Telescope was launched in 1990. It is now one of the most fascinating fields of astronomy. This just gets us more excited for what Webb will learn in the future. What do you guys think? Drop in your comments below and don't forget to subscribe to You Curious, your ultimate space for science news and mini documentaries. Sulfur, phosphorus, oxygen, nitrogen, carbon, and hydrogen. The fundamental building blocks of life. About 99% of the mass of living cells is composed of these elements. Together, these building blocks made our planet become habitable, and life emerged during its first 500 million years, the Hadean Aeon. Of course, the Earth lies in the habitable zone of our solar system, the area around a star, where it is neither too hot, nor too cold, for liquid water to exist on the surface. But imagine if Earth were much, 
much closer to the sun. So close, that an entire year, lasts only a few hours. So close, that gravity has locked one hemisphere, in permanent searing daylight, and the other, in endless darkness. So close, that the oceans boil away, rocks begin to melt, and the clouds rain lava. While nothing of the sort exists in our own solar system, planets like this, rocky, roughly Earth-sized, extremely hot and close to their stars, are not uncommon in the Milky Way galaxy. What are the surfaces and atmospheres of these planets really like? Do they host life? Hold your breath, as NASA's James Webb Space Telescope is about to provide some answers about these alien worlds. With its mirror segments beautifully aligned, and its scientific instruments undergoing calibration, NASA's James Webb Space Telescope is just weeks away from full operation. Soon after the first observations are revealed this summer, Webb's in-depth science will begin. But this is something we already know. What is the new update from NASA? Well, among the investigations planned for the first year, are studies of two hot exoplanets, classified as super-Earths, for their size and rocky composition, the lava-covered 55 Concrete E, and the airless LHS 3844b. Researchers will train Webb's high-precision spectrographs on these planets, with a view to understanding the geologic diversity of planets, across the galaxy, and the evolution of rocky planets like Earth. Superhot Super Earth 55 Concrete E 55 Concrete E orbits less than 1.5 million miles from its sun-like star, completing one circuit, in less than 18 hours. With surface temperatures far above the melting point, of typical rock-forming minerals, the day side of the planet is thought to be covered in oceans of lava. Planets that orbit this close to their star, are assumed to be tidally locked, with one side facing the star, at all times. As a result, the hottest spot on the planet, should be the one that faces the star most directly, and the amount of heat coming from the day side, should not change much over time. Somewhat cooler Super-Earth LHS 3844b while 55 Concrete E will provide insight into the exotic geology of a world covered in lava, LHS 3844b affords a unique opportunity to analyze the solid rock on an exoplanet surface. Like 55 Concrete E, LHS 3844b orbits extremely close to its star, completing one revolution in 11 hours. However, because its star is relatively small and cool, the planet is not hot enough for the surface to be molten. Additionally, Spitzer observations indicate that the planet is very unlikely to have a substantial atmosphere. The importance of these observations goes far beyond just two of the more than 5,000 confirmed exoplanets in the galaxy. They will give us fantastic new perspectives on Earth-like planets in general, helping us learn what the early Earth might have been like when it was hot like these planets are today said a leading NASA scientist. These observations of 55 Concrete E and LHS 3844b will be conducted as part of Webb's Cycle 1 General Observers Program. All the best Webb! We cannot wait for the first images from across the galaxy and worlds we have never seen before. What do you guys have to say? Drop in your comments to let us know and don't forget to subscribe to you curious? because we will provide you all the latest updates about the James Webb Space Telescope. The search for the universe's expansion rate began in the 1920s, when astronomers Edwin P. Hubble and Georges Lemaitre started taking measurements of our vast cosmos. This led to the discovery of dark energy in 1998, a mysterious repulsive force that accelerates the expansion of the cosmos. Astronomers discovered another surprise in recent years, owing to data from Hubble and other telescopes. A difference in the expansion rate of our local universe was detected. The Hubble Space Telescope has created a new, more accurate assessment of the universe's expansion rate, based on decades of data. HST, which is 32 years old, is being used to try to figure out how fast the universe is expanding, and how much it is speeding up, using a number called the Hubble constant. What exactly is the Hubble constant, you ask? The Hubble constant is a measurement of how fast the cosmos expands at various distances from a given location in space. 
It's one of the most important pieces of evidence for the evolution of the cosmos. Because different observatories studying at different parts of the universe have yielded different conclusions, the figure is notoriously difficult to pin down. But, a new examination of Hubble's most recent endeavor may have just discovered the solution. The gold standard of telescopes and cosmic mile markers is providing the most precise gauge of the universe's expanding pace. SHUES, which stands for supernova, H0, for the equation of state of dark energy, is a scientific cooperation led by Adam Rees of the Space Telescope Science Institute, which is examining the universe's expansion rate. This is what the Hubble Space Telescope was designed to perform, using the most advanced techniques available. This is most certainly Hubble's magnum opus, as doubling the sample size would require another 30 years of Hubble's life. With new data more than double the prior samples of cosmic distance markers, Rees is leading the largest and presumably the final substantial update on the Hubble constant. His team also went over all of the previous data, which included over 1,000 Hubble orbits. The Hubble constant is a unique figure. It can be used to thread a needle from the past to the present, to test our understanding of the universe, from beginning to finish. With the help of Hubble, the researchers looked at 42 supernova milepost markers that are seen exploding at a rate of around one per year. They now have a complete list of all supernovae seen by the Hubble telescope in the last 40 years. The Hubble constant was estimated to be 73 by the SHUES team, which means that galaxies are moving away from us at a rate of 73 kilometers per second for each additional megaparsec between us and them. A megaparsec is about 3.3 million light years. This was greater than prior studies, which predicted a value for the constant of 67.5 plus or minus 0.5 kilometers per second per megaparsec using the standard cosmological model of the universe and observations from the European Space Agency's Planck mission. The reason for this disparity is unknown. However, Hubble data, which includes a wide range of cosmic objects that act as distance markers, supports the concept that something strange is happening, maybe involving brand new physics. One of the key motivations for the price and great technological effort, when NASA dreamed of a huge space telescope in the 70s, was to be able to discern Cepheids, stars that brighten and dim regularly, and can be observed inside our Milky Way and external galaxies. Since their discovery, Cepheids have been the gold standard of cosmic mile markers. Astronomers have calculated the distances to faraway galaxies by observing Cepheids. They compared the apparent brightness of the Cepheid to its intrinsic brightness, and the distance was determined by the difference between the two brightnesses. This discovery is unraveling what had previously appeared to be a clear picture of the universe's dynamical evolution. Astronomers are baffled as to why the expansion rate of the local universe differs from that of the primeval cosmos, but the answer may lie in additional physics of the universe. Scientists began measuring the Hubble constant to benchmark the cosmos 30 years ago, but it has now evolved into something even more fascinating. And now, with the James Webb Space Telescope becoming fully operational this summer, it will extend on Hubble's work and provide us with even more sharper resolution images. Way to go NASA! What do you guys think? Drop in your comments below and don't forget to subscribe to You Curious, your ultimate space for science news and mini-documentaries.